What is a claw machine? It's basically a product that allows you to gamble, gamble non-stop, and it makes you so addicted that you know you're not going to win anything, but you think you just hold on to that little bit of hope to try gamble some more. As a kid, I love claw machines. I've always had a dream of winning every single prize in the claw machine. But unfortunately, I looked at my bank account and realized I'm broke. But I have a plan to hopefully fix that. I just fire my employees. Is that okay? Then you're gonna have f employees. Then what are you gonna do, idiot? In order to go ahead and, and win a toy or every toy in a claw machine, we have to practice. Then we need to find the perfect machine to beat. It's time to go ahead to stick to that one machine to get every single toy out of there. And then it's time to calculate how many toys are in the machine so we can calculate how much money we need to get every single one out of there successfully, every single go. It's time for the rest to speak for itself. I wanna try this one. All right, so basically, when it, we're to do this, we're gonna practice on one machine first, right? Before we go to the big one. Yeah. I wanna do the SpongeBob one. I wanna win everything. That's not gonna work. That's easy. That's money. Oh, shit. Hold up. Yeah. I think we should move. <laughs> no. I think we should move. No. Yo, we're kind of losing money here. We haven't Relax. played it like five times. Relax, I'll get the dairy one. Yes. Alright, so we first had a start, new machine. First start. first start. Me and Sean had a good chat. He was telling me I can't gamble all my money on one machine, so we got to try this one. We're going to try the one right next to it. It's the exact same thing, but it's fine. Alright, we're going to go for the little scrotal dude. Oh. 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 What did I say? What did I say? I said move, move machines and it worked. Not even gonna get your prize out? <laughs> alright, alright. Damn. <coughs> You're f useless. <laughs> what is that again? I don't know. It looks like a scan, though. Are you serious? I'm you dead. just lost on Can this. Can you thing. get my prize? Nah. What did I tell you? Are you ready? Can you hold that for me? Good word. Bro, we just failed. You just huh? failed. Eh? Oh. The whole budget's been gone on this one machine. It's gonna work this time. Believe in me. Tell me. Tell me you can believe in me. I don't believe in you. No, 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 no. What did I tell you? You're out of money. What did I tell you? I know. What did I tell you? What the f are we doing? You just spent all the money on that one machine and you want absolutely look. F nothing. Look. Who gives a f about that? Ugly. Does that look like Squidward TV? But it, he's happy. No, he's f not. Why are you going to degrade me of my legacy? Because you've degraded our f money on that one machine and you want nothing. Listen, this is what it is. It's about practice we're doing this to like practice so we can when we do like the real thing it's a lot easier and a lot better thing? well when we find like an actual like a real claw machine like a proper one a big one i'm gonna win all the toys in there this is practice this is not practice it is as far as i'm concerned this is look at me this is living proof that we can actually do this this is living proof all right so yeah that didn't really go to plan Sean's idea though. Say that shit one more time. Say that shit one more time. So originally the plan was to try win every single toy out of one of these machines. And we did some practice goes and I'll be honest.
I'm just shit. Until my sister actually won it. Like that's that's one down. I love we're gonna get all of them out. No. Oh yeah. Keep losing over and over again, and we did it for so long, and then I walked past. I walked past something. I needed, I needed to win something from that SpongeBob one. I'm sorry, I needed to. I tried and I tried and literally spent, I spent $50 on coins and I was on my like second to last go. It finally happened. I got, I got SpongeBob. All this time, all this effort, this practicing, this this planning was all determined to just get a SpongeBob at the end of it. I don't even want it. Piece of fabric I could have bought for two dollars at a two dollar store. I don't know what I got out of this. But then I saw one thing. It looked like a toy was falling, so I had to quickly go in and grab that one too. But I gave that to some random kid I found because I didn't I didn't want that one either. Well, I hope you enjoyed my journey on the claw machine. Um, I'm going to London right now, so I'll see you soon. But yeah, Xavier, thank you so much for coming on the podcast. Oh, thank you so it's much. It's great to yeah. see you. Um, so why are you a dickhead? <laughs> True. Remember when we used to share the room upstairs, G? Had the two single beds? Yo. But I just kind of threw up a little bit in my bed on the mattress, so I swapped our mattresses. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck?